So we're at the Big Four Breeze Caravan Park at Bagara yeah. and we are having just the best time. Lovely spot. Really it's a beautiful spot. It's opposite the uh, surf club which has a great cafe downstairs as well. So we're here for the next uh, four or five days and just looking forward to having a great time. Hope you just arrived at Splitter's Farm which is near Bundaberg about half an hour from where we're staying at Bagara. The Splitter's Farm was originally set up about five years ago for rescue animals and uh, they have something like 400 rescue animals here at the moment and it is amazing we're about to go on a guided tour. It's not only a rescue farm but it's also a farm stay where you come in caravan and bring your tent so have glamping tents as well come with us and explore Splitter's Farm. evolve into a more resilient breed than even what the Arabians are breeding over in the Middle East. Very slow here are two males and we've got Ella and Maka. Ella was given to us by another local alpaca farm and we've recently discovered why. Um, she's miscarried three times. Because kids kept opening to steal my feathers. Which oh. I would have given them had they asked. Oh, but no. peacocks need to be penned for a minimum 12 months when they come to a new property. It takes them that long to realise this is their new home and if they don't, they walk off into the bush and get eaten by wild dogs. Oh. These guys were not due to be released until April. Unfortunately, people not supervising their children here on site has meant we've lost three of our males. a bit of a worrying scene for us as farmers. So peacocks and pilgrim geese are our territorial birds on the property and as soon as anything hatches in nature out here they'll kill it. They can hear the chicks chirping in the eggs before they hatch. 
So the fact that Prince is hanging around and Turkey sitting on a nest, um, he's coming in to check if they're about to hatch. She is sitting on a nest. I know that those eggs aren't very old though, so they're not likely to hatch soon. Um, she's only just started to commit to, to uh, the last two groups, the last two days, she hasn't even been here. So now she's laid enough eggs, she's committed to sitting. So I'd say around yeah. about 28 days and we'll start to see chicks, but I will keep an eye on Prince mm. because the minute they do hatch, he'll kill them. And they just snap their necks. So they don't do it for food or anything. It's purely an aggression for territory. And, uh, Bowie, who has eyes like David Bowie. Big doogie up here with the horn. So Stevie was born on a few thousand acre property out near Mount Perry, west of Jinjin. And the 17 year old farmer realized very quickly that he was blind. Uh, the result for him would have been probably falling down a ravine or being coming disoriented or separated from his mum and starving to death. So we took him on here. So Billy was hand raised by a lovely lady out near Moore Park. And she raised him till about he was 12 years old. And then unfortunately... So Lind Linda and I have just gone on the guided tour here at Splitter's Farm. It was absolutely awesome with Carly taking us around. But as part of our deal, we've also purchased their lunch as well, which looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> They do pizza and they do damper. Oh wow. The camp kitchen's pretty primo. And straight off the camp kitchen, such a beautiful lake. Outdoor fire pit. Which I think every every campsite has their own outdoor fire pit as well. So Splitters Farm, you can't get much better than this. They've got just about everything you could possibly want. And so much here to do for the kids too, isn't there? Yeah, canoeing and um... canoeing, they've got the go-karts to hire yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I guess so. I remember. 